this question I found interesting um, came from Ga- um, sorry, I, I wrote down the pronunciation of this. Um, Gregoire, do you think Ben Simmons is done being an all-star starting next year? I definitely do not. I mean, he has legitimate flaws to his game that have been exposed and severely so. But let's not forget that he is arguably the most versatile defender in the entire NBA, who is going to be a yearly threat for Defensive Player of the Year and a mainstay on all defensive teams. He's still one of the the premier passers in the association. He can finish around the basket. He's a transition threat. He has a growing game as a cutter. There are significant weaknesses, but he is an extraordinarily talented basketball player who, even with all of the free throw flaws and the inability to even touch the ball down the stretch of close games in the fourth quarter, rendering him as some kind of weird like hybrid point guard wing three and D player minus the three. Like he still makes <laughs> such an impact in the first three quarters that he's providing positive value nonetheless. And in the regular season, we don't see those flaws exploited as much. He's still going to put up big numbers. He's still going to be one of the better players in the Eastern Conference or should he be traded to Portland or elsewhere in the Western Conference. And he's going to be in the all-star conversation. Maybe he won't make it next year because the narrative has shifted so much after this postseason series. But like he's what, 23, I want to say off the top of my head? Like 24. 24. Like let's – there's no way that he's not going to be in the all-star conversation again. Yeah, forever, sure. But I will argue that this could be a DeMar DeRozan type situation where you've seen him become a liability enough in the playoffs where you dismiss some of what's happening during the regular season. I don't know if that's right or wrong. I would probably lean towards it's okay. But because we've seen him struggle so much, even if he puts up those numbers, I think people are going to be inclined to go to a different direction. It's sort of the 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 inverse of Trey Young where people were wondering, oh, could he be... Look at the numbers he put up this year. He should have been an all-star over Ben Simmons, if we're going to go by that. And was it, did he make the all-star team? No, he didn't. I can't remember, mm. but no. he didn't. So now he's going to get more consideration because of what we've seen him do in the playoffs. So I, I actually think there's a chance that for the next couple of years, unless we see a measurable improvement in his attack mode, um, and certainly next year, I might be a little... like, Or just his free throw shooting, does he do anything to expand his range? Maybe if he gets traded, it'll be a different story. But it wouldn't surprise me if we don't see Ben Simmons in the All-Star game for the next few years, where I think people sort of looked at DeMar DeRozan. It's a d- different players, but like they looked at his struggles in the playoffs, and it kind of eclipsed, because he's still a great regular season player. So, And I would still argue he's valuable in certain playoff situations. 